So as you may have noticed, it is the holiday season. So you may be looking right now for a gift. So when it comes to gifts, you're gonna really wanna think about who you are giving the gift to. If you are going to a secret Santa party, it means you probably know who the gift is going to. If you're going to be playing White Elephant, then not so much because pretty much anyone can steal that gift. But it's also a good idea to have some things in mind that are universally liked and that way it will still go well for something like a game of White Elephant. Also, I'm going to include gifts that you could easily throw into stockings or give to family members as well. Also, one more thing to keep in mind is that if you are giving a sort of inexpensive gift, it's always a good idea to go ahead and buy a bunch of little things that are kind of inexpensive and they sort of make up a bigger gift, kind of like a basket or something like that. So the first things up on my list are pretty much electronics. So if you know someone who is making YouTube videos or TikTok videos, they may need a ring light. And even if you've seen them with a ring light, they may need a big ring light or a very small ring light. So there are lots of things that will help people who like to create videos. Also, what you could do is get them a car mount. If they like vlogging or something like that, car mounts are very helpful for making videos on the go. Also, anyone who travels a lot and has electronics, which is pretty much everyone who travels, is going to need something to organize their phone cables, maybe camera cables and laptops. Anyone who is traveling a lot would really probably appreciate having a little bag to organize all their cables, cords, and memory cards. Also, external batteries can come in handy, not just for your phone, but also there are some I think that work for laptops because when traveling or even when you're just sort of taking a day trip, it can be very helpful and very safe to have a backup battery. Also, something that would maybe be a good gift for people who you're related to or family members is a space heater. The winter on the East Coast is pretty harsh this year. They have really inexpensive ones now and some that are quite small. So if you think someone would like that, then it may be a good thing to just throw in. In terms of some more fun items, something that I actually like to collect and I like gifting to people are things like horoscope cups. Everybody has a birthday, and if you happen to know the person's birthday, you can go ahead and give them something like a horoscope mug or journal. They're personalized, but also kind of easy to find. Also, there are other things like I saw on one website, they had cat tarot cards, which I think is a niche audience because you both have to like cats and tarot cards. However, I do know someone who I'm pretty sure would love a set of cat tarot cards. So yeah, I mean, Certain things are like totally random, but also very specific to certain people and they'll come off really personalized. So it's not a bad idea. Another fun thing that you could get into, especially if you know that someone likes different scents that are kind of custom is to get them a really nice candle set. It's very simple, but it just kind of brings a nice holiday ambiance. Also one that I am personally looking into for myself is a water bottle that has time markers on it. So a lot of people talk about not drinking enough water. You know, it's very good for the body and things like that. However, I have at one point in time realized that it had been two and a half days since I'd had water, which is pretty much the limit on how long you can go without it. I am thinking of looking into the water bottle with the timer. I do have times on my phone to like remind me, but I don't know, I guess that's just not enough motivation. So maybe the water bottle would also help. Something that I've mentioned in one of my previous videos and something that I love and have been using for a long time are steam flat irons. So if you know anyone who likes flat ironing their hair but hasn't tried one, it may be a good idea to throw that in the stocking this year. They are great in terms of avoiding humidity and I mean, that's, that's all I can say because I love them. They flatten your hair, they're good against humidity. Also, something that I've noticed is that after you wash your hair and then straighten it with a regular flat iron, it can smell a little bit like the products you use. But with a steam flat iron, my hair still smells like shampoo and conditioner, which is awesome. So yeah, you just may wanna throw that in there. Another fun thing, which I think is always a good idea, are things like slippers or fuzzy socks. I have my own fuzzy socks. Obviously, they are specialty fuzzy socks. So don't just think like a regular pair of crazy socks. You could get really, really fun with this. And because it is a cold winter, these are really nice and comfortable. I've seen them in places like Marshalls and Home Goods. Also, another thing that I'm always in need of are hair ties. 
I have the hair ties that kind of look like the old phone cords, but they're also scrunchy type hair ties and the just kind of regular elastics. And you might want to know what type the person wears, but mine are always breaking, so I can always use more of them. And I just think it's a great stocking stuffer. Also, they're really not expensive, so I would go ahead and throw in some more stuff that's maybe kind of in the realm of spa stuff, and that would really round it out to be a nice gift. In fact, I do have an old spa set here. It's just very, very, you know, user-friendly. It's got lotion. It also comes with slippers, so it's kind of already done there. And, you know, if the person doesn't like it, they can usually use a couple things from it, or you can always let them know that they can re-gift it, and then they have a Christmas present for someone else. In terms of gift cards, I definitely think there are some that are more user-friendly than others. There are a lot of restaurants that I'm not that fond of or don't eat in, so I have gift cards to them that never get used. But I would say that a Target gift card, as basic as that sounds, will allow someone to go in and if they want food or home decor or pet stuff, they can get any of it and it just comes in handy. Also, Targets have Starbucks. So that's very user friendly as well. You could also get a Starbucks card for people who like coffee because, you know, I just really like Starbucks. There are some people who like Dunkin' and other things, but because you can get food in all of these places now, it's kind of not a problem to go ahead and get them a card to one of these places. Also, something for readers. If you know someone who reads, I have a gigantic collection of books. <laughs> they would really appreciate a Barnes & Noble gift card. Those cards can be used online or in the store. And yeah, I'm always looking for my next book. So pretty much at any point in time, it would be useful for me to have a Barnes & Noble gift card. Also, fun fact, if the Barnes & Noble has a Starbucks in it and the person likes coffee, they can get Starbucks with that Barnes & Noble gift card. Now, there is some weirdness because you can't use a Starbucks card at a Barnes & Noble Starbucks. That's just something to be aware of. But for people who like coffee and books, Barnes & Noble gift cards are awesome. Also, another thing which I have received multiple times for Secret Santa, and I really enjoy because I love chocolate, are boxes of C's candy. They are very good, and I feel like a decent quality to be a Christmas gift, because some chocolates really are not. They're, they're, they're just not. Not all chocolate is graded equal, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just love getting them. Something you might want to consider, though, is not to expect the person to open it while they're there. I personally never open my chocolates if I'm at like a party or something because then everybody will expect to be able to eat some of it and that's not going to happen because I'm going to take it home and eat it all myself. Just something to consider. But those are my best ideas for Christmas gifts and stocking stuffers. So I hope I gave you some ideas for what you could get for people. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.